Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode here on Bali Spring. So it has been a wee while since we've been on Bali Spring because we've been away um, at our other farms, court farms, and uh, our farm at Zalunka in Poland. Uh, so it's been a wee while since we've been on here, but it's good to be back because uh, there's lots of jobs to be done. And yeah, so let's just get started because um, it's a good idea. So, what we're going to be doing today is I've totally forgotten about this field 20 you have here. Uh, I totally forgot. So we'll go over to this field and we'll go and get it cut. So, pardon me, I will see you when we're over at the field. Alright, so we're over here at the field. As you can see, nice long grass. Um, I don't think it's going to be good yielding though, because there's no fertilizer or lime on it. But yeah. And hopefully it shouldn't take us too long, even though it's quite a hilly bit of land, so that might slow us down a bit. So let's just get the mowers started up, and let's get going. We'll hopefully pick a bit of speed up. I mean, 8 miles an hour is not a bad speed anyway, but we could go a bit faster. I don't think I'll do a time lapse for this one. I think I'll do a good old montage uh, to save a time lapse because that'll take us ages and it'll get quite boring for you guys to watch. So yeah. But it seems like a lovely windmill there. Never noticed that before. It's a lovely thing to have near the field. Oh, we've also got a wee old uh, ruins there. Lovely. I don't know how nice an area this field was. We're definitely going to have to do more in this field. Because it might sound weird, but I'm actually loving this field. <laughs> yeah, but if we look here, we should see uh, it's quite bad. But if we were to put some lime and fertilizer on it, that should improve. Or if, you, if we were to replant the grass, uh, that also would help. So we might consider doing that after this cut. We might put some new grass in with some lime and fertilizer, and that should improve it. Um, because, as I said, it's not a very good yield at the minute. And we could definitely get better out of this grass. Um, but we've almost done the first headland, uh, so what I think we'll do is we'll uh, get the cinematic clips out and I'll see when it's done. So what I got, uh, went and did was I went and got a worker to do all the wind drawing for us. So now we can just get straight onto the bailing and it saves us a lot of time. Nope, wrong button. There we go. Let's get this baler unfolded and let's get some bales created. And hopefully we'll get a decent yield out of this for our lovely tractor. T690. Now we do own now because I ended up buying it, swapping it for the class because unfortunately it was having a few problems. Uh, so we swapped it for this lovely T6 and I've got to say it's much nicer with the tractor I've been wanting to buy. And so there is our first bale ready to wrap. 
But yeah, the worker seems to have done a decent job here. We really do need to get this bailer fixed because as you can see on the bar, it's in the red. And it's pretty much struggling to get up this hill and this is a 200 horsepower trap there so it should not be struggling at all. Oh, forgot. There we go. But yeah, uh, to see if you get on board and watch me going at 3 miles an hour, I think what we'll do is we will fix the bailer up, we'll get it going on um, some cinematic clips and I'll see you when it's done. So we're almost done, uh, we've got a few more bales to do and then that'll be us uh, completely done for this field. Um, but as you can see we've made a decent amount of bales which is good uh, for a field that didn't have much fertilizer and lime on it so I'm pretty happy with that. So that'll be good some, uh, ugh, sorry, that'll be good money. Um, for us because we are trying to work towards uh, a new farm uh, we are going to keep the one we have but the, the one we want to buy is about four hundred thousand uh, pounds so i was thinking we could either take a big loan out and buy the farm because it does come with quite a bit of land if we were to go for it so we could easily make the money back uh, from it so it's really up to us what we want to do if we want to take a big loan out and make uh, the challenge quite interesting on this map uh, that might be quite good to do um, because this field alone we might make uh, 40,000 pounds out of it so if you think 40,000 pounds a field uh, I'll actually have a quick look at the farm and see if it's up for sale because if it's up for sale we might just do it we might take the risk and we may buy it so it's this few uh is this farm here sorry um as you can see four hundred thousand pounds and the soil type is much better at this farm so if we were to go for it we could make a much uh, better yield out of it um of course we could sell some of our land off if we really wanted to uh like these two fields down here we could sell this one for 63,000, that would give us some money, and this one for 75. And that means we could make, take a much smaller loan. So that's what I'm thinking. And by selling two fields, it means we're taking a smaller loan and we're gaining about f four fields, four or five fields. So that's my idea. So what I'll do is I'll have a wee think about it for a minute or two, and then I'll come back to you, and um, we'll see what we're doing. So I will get back to you in a minute. Rightio, so I finally got started with the farm. We've managed to buy it and now we've got a combine on lease because one of our new fields is ready to harvest. So what I've done is I've brought our tractor and our brand new trailer that we bought a wee while ago. I just forgot to say we bought it. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely trailer. Um, but yeah, so let's get started with the combining. It's a lovely combine this. I believe it was uh, from a farmer in Court Farms who owned it, so it's quite a nice combine. 
So let's get it started up. Oh, we need to unfold it. That would help. And turn it on. There we go. So I'm not sure how the yield of this crop's going to be since it's our first crop out of the field we shouldn't do too bad but it's not going to be the best either I wouldn't have thought but yeah this series is going really different now I didn't think I was going to be buying this farm so quick in this episode anyway but it just shows you by taking a big loan you can do a lot and now we are a sheep farmer because uh, this farm does sheep and the farmer has actually left us the sheep so hopefully we'll make some money out of them but it does mean we need to make sure we got lots of hay uh, to feed them because that's what they require uh, but yeah I do apologize about um, this series being quite fast paced now suddenly um, because I'm just getting quite excited about it, you know, I'm just trying to play as how I would want to play. So now we own two farms, a ton of fields. I mean, I'm actually thinking about selling this field all the way down here. Um, because it gives £230,000 and that pay our loan off a lot. I mean, a lot. I mean, that'd be more than half of our, well, less than half of our loan, but it would still help us out a lot. Um, so we could consider selling it, but then that means we'd only have two arable fields. But I think it might be worth it. Well, you know what, we'll leave it, because I don't want to make any bad decisions at the minute. Because I'm having a lot of fun uh, playing it how I am. So I don't really want to make any bad decisions on what we're doing. And I do hope you're enjoying it, and if you are, please do like and subscribe. I try not to ask too much, because I know um, it can get quite annoying for people watching when YouTubers ask uh, for people to like and subscribe. But please do, if you are enjoying it. Of course, if you're not enjoying it, then you don't have to watch this video. But yeah, it doesn't seem to uh, seem to be a bad yield we're getting for a field that's probably not got much uh, fertilizer or lime on it. I would say we're doing pretty well. So I'll do the usual thing, which I normally do, which is I'll do a headland and then I'll get this on the time lapse. Since we haven't done the time lapse in this video, I think it could be quite good for us to do one. something quick jeez as you can see our land is quite scattered we don't own much in this bit so that could be quite good to do is to buy and sell some lands because but as I said I don't want to make any bad decisions at the minute um, because I don't want to make any decisions that no, decisions that I will regret in the future because then I might go oh I would I wish I kept that field. And we do need the arable land because it really does bring in the money for us. And we are going to be selling this crop straight off because we need the money at the minute. But yeah, that's the first headland done. So what I'll do is I'll put it on a time lapse and every... Um, so often I'll just film me unloading the combine so I will see you when it's done
Right, so that's us, us almost finished the field. Um, we just got this last little bit to do, and then that'll be us done, and then we can get it seeded because that's what we're doing uh, since we're in September now, and we've got to have a quick turnaround time. Right, I was well just unloading this, driving over to our lovely trailer and tractor, or tractor and trailer, sorry. And by the way, you can see that we have £53,000 in the bank now. That's because we sold a trailer load of barley. Um, of course, that £53,000 uh, will be going down very quickly because we've got to pay this loan off. And uh, you don't even want to see the loan because it's that much. Oh yeah, I should be at the back keep forgetting with these trailers she have to be at the back there we go get that unloaded and then we're going to finish this off and uh, we may get on to the seeding if we're lucky but yeah I think it was a good decision to buy this farm well, I say buy the farm. Technically, we have it on a mortgage that we have to pay every month. And of course, we can pay more money if we want to. Uh, we just need to have the money first. I do apologize about any background noise you hear, like a squeaky chair, which is the most annoying thing ever. So, that is Harvest 2023 finished. Well, I say 2023, in-game it's probably like Harvest 59. There's probably a bit that tells me how many harvests we've done, our years, sorry. We've done played six years in the game. This is, I believe this is the 27th episode on Bali Spring, so we're doing all right. There we go, that's us unloaded. So, I mean, we could go and sell this off, but I'm not really bothered to be selling it off right now. So, what I might do is I might put it in our silo and then I'll get one of the workers to take over maybe the cedar. It really depends if we have time because I don't really want to make this video too long for you guys to watch. I'm just going to look at contracts. Mm, nothing really interests me. Right, anyway, I'm having a look at uh, what we have in Animal Pen. Um, we got some, like one goat, uh, seven female goats, seven female sheep, and one ram. So... We really want to be expanding our uh, breed of sheep and goats. Um, we can't afford to do that, so I might go and do that after uh, unloading this. By the way, this trap there is going very slow, but it's a lot of weight on it, so we'll let it off on this one. But yeah, I would like to know your opinions. Uh, have I made a good or bad decision for the farm um, by taking a massive loan out and buying the farm that we've been wanting to buy for ages, which I haven't really said about much about buying this one, but when it popped up, I thought, you know what, let's buy it. And the farm is so good, you included an extra field of this one here. 107, so we've got a good few fields to keep us going and we'll hopefully make plenty of money out of this farm. Of course, it's a sheep farm, so it's not going to be as. Uh, it's not going to give us as much money as the cow farm would. But both of them combined, hopefully, will make a decent amount of money every year. And I do apologise if some people think this is very unrealistic. Um, I just decided today, you know what? I fancy doing something a bit different. So. Anyways, let's find the silo, which is right here. 
I mean, at least this will be 11,000 litres. When we get low on money, we can uh, sell it off and make some money. So I believe that is the grass field the farmer has given, it, uh, given to us. Uh, so very nice of him because it's a decent sized grass field. Um, so that's good. But yeah, this grain trailer has been so good to us. It was definitely worth buying it. Right, we'll just leave this here. And what shall we do? Because we got, I think we've got a bit of time on our hands. You know what? I'll go and check the time uh, of this video, and I'll get back to you in a minute. So, see you in a minute. Right, so that's going to be it for today. Um, we've had a good day though. We've got lots done, uh, you know, like bailing and all that sort of stuff, and buying a new farm and all that. But we've had a very busy day, and uh, for today, that's going to be this video. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please do like and subscribe, and also comment down below what you think of the new farm, and what you think of the series so far. And if you'd like to check out any of my socials, it is linked below this video. And if you'd like to share this episode with anyone else, I would appreciate that as well. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.